Um, first of all, let me just say that he is um, a master of public affairs. Can I say that? Well, yeah. Can you say it? I can say it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if you have to mention a thousand smart people in the world, he's one of them. <laughs> yeah. Very interestingly. I'm not sure about that. Oh, well, I'd like to believe he's one of the smartest individuals in the world. He's, of course, he is the French Secretary of State to the Minister of National Education and Youth. He is no other than Monsieur Gibral Attal in our studios. Good morning. Good morning. I'm very happy to be here. Our first time in Cool FM. Yes, first time in Lagos. First time, first time in Lagos. Nigeria. Cool. You like our studio? Very much. It's very... Very nice. <laughs> nice to have you here for the very first time. Lego Speaks, tune into the morning show this morning. We'll be talking a lot this morning with, uh, of course, uh, this uh, great individual. Please join uh, uh, join the social media hashtag, uh, Good Morning Nigeria Show. I'm here. Timmy B is here. How now? How far now? I, I'm fine. Are you excited? <laughs> yes, I am. As I, I will be on a Friday. Welcome to the show. How are you doing? I'm fine. Is this your first time in Lagos? Yes, it is. Yay. It is. <laughs> well, happy. Lagos has seen a lot of very... Um, you know, prestigious people this year. So we're pretty excited to have you mm -hmm. uh, on the show. Let me ask you, what brings you to Lagos? Actually, Lagos brings me to Lagos. Uh, I'm the Minister of State for Youth Affairs in uh, France. And I hear Nigeria and Lagos is a very young uh, country, young city, very dynamic. So uh, I'm very glad to, uh, to be here today and to meet with... Uh, the youth of Nigeria, uh, I, I will see uh, young uh, entrepreneurs, uh, young volunteers committing for a, a, ped a better society, a better world. So uh, it's, it's very important. And I come also to uh, distinguish uh, Mrs. Uh, Bella Adenuga Dissou, uh, who worked a lot with us to uh, build the new uh, Alliance Francaise here in Lagos. So uh, it's a very uh, intense day, but uh, I'm so glad to be here. Okay, well, we're really happy to have you here. You're also very young. Like, we're the same age. Yes. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you're, and you're, like, you're a minister. Like, for us in Nigeria, that's like a 30-year-old minister. <laughs> wow. It's like a unicorn. <laughs> yes, in, I, in France also. <laughs> it, it is? I mean, how did you get here at 30? Like, what did you do? Well... There's no magic recipe, I think. Uh, I worked a lot and I, uh, I committed very early with uh, President Macron uh, before he was president. So I worked a lot with him to uh, help him becoming president. And then uh, I was elected in the parliament. Uh, and a year ago, he, he asked me to, to join the government. So uh, I'm the youngest minister uh, in France ever. <laughs> so it's a big responsibility because when you are young, but you know that, you have to work a lot mm -hmm. to show that you are credible, that you... Uh, can have responsibilities so uh, but i mean how does that affect like you're still 30 right you're mm -hmm. still young like you still want to do fun things do, do. How, how do you like <laughs> well how do you strike the balance like going to a normal night at a club and they're like oh mm. what is he doing how do you strike <laughs> that balance being a young person and still being a that's, serious that's government difficult. person it's difficult but i think it's very important to keep um Yes, a, a, a private life mm -hmm. with uh, friends who are not in politics and uh, yes, to, to, to have time for fun. Uh, so I still have friends for now. For now. <laughs> <laughs> I still go to parties with them. Uh -huh. uh, I have to be careful. It's uh -huh. normal. But uh, yeah, I, I think uh, I, I have the balance. But uh, it import it's important to keep it and uh, to to have fun outside of work and inside of your work. And I mm. have fun. Uh, Interesting. Okay. So we hear that it's you know it's serious business. You're here in Nigeria for the first mm -hmm. time, and we do hear that you have to. Uh, you're here also to launch something like a national service. What is that? Yeah, I, I'm launching a national service in France. Actually. Okay. Um, because you know the the military service in France was uh, suspended 20 years ago. Okay. And we suspended it because we decided to uh, build a um, professional army uh, before every boy was could be in the army and was formed for that. And I think that was a, a good choice. But when we suspended uh, the military service, we suspended a time where. Uh, all uh, all the young generation was uh, meeting and uh, committing together so uh, president macron decided to create a new service which is not military the militaries are here but it's more about committing for society with uh, ngos for uh, environment for right. solidarity with the uh, elderly etc uh -huh. so nice. uh, it's a huge work and uh, yeah maybe I'll, f uh, I'll talk about that with uh, nigerian young people because you have a national uh, uh, a civil corps uh, here in Nigeria. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. it's so called the NYC. 
I um, hear about that. Yes, I, I've done it. Yay. <laughs> so how was it? It, it was interesting. It why, was, why did you do it? Um, here in Lagos. Okay. Trying to be very, very um, great with my answers. I did it in Lagos. But it was good. I, I think it's a good thing for integration, especially because there's so many tribes in Nigeria. So it's a good thing to let people mix and learn other people's culture and also learn how to live together as one. Um, and I think it's a great thing. So I think it, it is a good thing you're doing. This is a music station, okay? This okay. is the number one hymn music station. Have you listened to any Nigerian music? A bit. A bit. A bit. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I heard about, uh, and I heard uh, Davido. Uh -huh. uh, and of course, it's more... Um, uh, En, not ancient, but uh, Fela Kuti. It's, it's very oh, cool. there you it's go. Ancient. No. <laughs> it is. It's still cool. It's Trust still me. Cool, yeah, you're still not, in. You're still in. It's, it's not. Uh, yeah, it's not from it, today, but yeah. it's still. Uh, yeah. We're still hearing it today. It's legendary. I think yeah. Uh, yeah. President uh, Macron, when he came to Lagos, he came to shrine uh, to show that, well, there's an international. Um, uh, force uh, with Fela Kuti's music. So, uh. Yeah, there is. And a lot of the young artists as well, Davido, Burner Boy, they still all kind of get inspiration from him. Mm -hmm. So a lot of their music has some samples from him. So I feel like he's someone that's going to last forever, even yeah. though he's been gone for a while. He is going to last forever. Um, let's talk about Nigerian culture. Uh, we have a lot of culture here. Are you familiar with Nigerian culture at all? Well, not that much. Uh -huh. uh, I have some bases, but uh, that's also why I'm coming here. Mm -hmm. So uh, maybe you'll help me discover more. <laughs> yeah, you should eat. I, I know this is cliche, but it, you should eat jollof rice. You should. Okay. You must eat jollof rice. You that, have that to. That early in the morning? Anytime. <laughs> Anytime. Anytime it's, is the right we, time. We must warn you. We must warn you. <laughs> it's, rice. it's spicy. Okay. Yeah, not all dollar fries is spicy. They can hook you up with the one that's not too spicy. Mm -hmm. So you're good. But let's talk about friend culture as well. So say I have 24 hours in France. Where should I go and uh, what should I do? <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends. Are you in Paris? Um, where, where should I be? Should I be in Paris? So first, you have to go in Paris. Okay. Okay. So I'm in Paris. <laughs> and you have 24 to, hours. to visit our beautiful museums, the Louvre. I tried. It's hot. It's hot? <laughs> it's hard. Like Hard, I had yes. to stay in the queue, it was stressful. Yeah, it's quite yeah. long, but it depends. Uh -huh. You can you can book online to okay. be sure, and uh, you also have to to visit some some contemporary artists. Uh -huh. We have a place called Palais de Tokyo, which okay. is very uh, very very nice. Then uh -huh. you have to have a walk along the Seine. Okay, uh, which is the river. There, that, there is that. an there is an there's an on, there's an <laughs> underground friend, and you have to uh -huh. kiss him at night. Oh, really? Uh, okay, I need to write sand. notes. So hold on. <laughs> Sorry, there's an there's an underground nightclub. I I you know I uh, I've been to in France. I can't recall. I think it's Lu Club La Rue or something like that. Mm. It's quite popular. It's an underground club. Is it Moulin Rouge? I think I, I can't that, recall the name. It, but that's not. It's not underground. Yeah. It was fascinating. It was amazing. I'm, I mean, that's my first time. I mean, it, it was really really wow. Yeah, so maybe when we're in France, we would. Uh, <laughs> but you, you have to take me there because I don't know this club. Yeah, yeah it's um, anyway. I'll try and find out what it was. <laughs> so I, I want to ask you uh, the Alli the Alliance Francaise. The uh, we call it the French Cultural Center. It has a new look. Are you excited about that? I'm very excited, and I'm very excited to discover it because uh, I haven't been there. President Macron uh, came there uh, a year ago. I think it was in July, 2018. Uh, so I'm very excited to discover it because it's important for for us, friends to have a presence uh, internationally to uh, show what French culture is, but also to uh, uh, inspire French culture with the culture of uh, international countries and other countries. I can tell you for a fact that it has served as a launch pad for lots of talent in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I mean, from back in the days, from the from the early 90s, we've had so many talents come through from uh, the, uh, the uh, of course, the uh, cultural center. I mean, from dance to music to drama. In fact, rumor has it, the international Nigerian French artist Asha was actually discovered right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard about her. Yeah, uh, yeah, she's dope. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's very famous. She's yeah. very good. Yeah, you no, it, it, I think it's a very it it is and it will be a very important place. So that's why I'm coming to discover it and to honor uh, Miss uh, Adenugadisu who. Uh, worked a lot to build it and, mm -hmm. uh, so i'm very happy to meet her as well so i i'm always i want to talk about like studying in france uh, i was talking to my sister the other day and she was like there's a friend of hers who's going to france and she's like you can't go to france alone you can't speak french and i feel like a lot of like nigerian um students are 
they want to go to France. Everybody wants to go to France. First of all, there's fashion, there's music, there's food. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have to tell me what to eat. That that's that's <laughs> on the side. But would would I should I be scared as a student to study in France because I can't speak French? Absolutely not. Mm-hmm. First, because uh, uh, you you don't have to speak French to come study in France. We developed a lot. Amen. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we developed Amen. a lot. Good uh, news. English teaching uh, uh, programs. I think we have a uh, thousand five hundred or maybe two thousand five hundred programs taught uh, uh, in English mm-hmm. uh, in French universities. So uh, you you can come without f- speaking French and. You will learn French there, but you will study in English, and it's very important. You know, uh, we we really want to develop the uh, Nigerian students coming in France. Uh, I think it, it doubled the f- last four years, yeah. but it's still quite small. Uh-huh. France is the is the first um, um, place for international students. Uh, non-speaking English in yeah. the world, and the fourth for all international students. Okay. So it's very. You have a lot of international students speaking English as well. So if you're in Nigerian, you don't speak French, you come there, you will meet very uh, interesting and fun French people speaking English. You will mm-hmm. meet international students, and you will uh, be taught in uh, in English. So now let me yeah. let me ask. So <laughs> survival guide. If I and five phrases that I need to survive, just like without, <laughs> without, <laughs> without. I, I know bonjour. I know merci, au revoir, uh, excusez-moi. Oh, what else? Nice. Do I, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm doing a call. <laughs> uh, what other five phrases will I need, oh, like to survive, just oh. from the airport to my hotel? <laughs> what phrases would I need? Um, Est-ce que je peux avoir un café, s'il vous plaît? Oh my God, too fast. <laughs> I can't repeat that. Say that again slowly. Est-ce que je peux avoir un café, s'il vous plaît? Okay. Um, Est-ce que je peux avoir un café? Okay. Uh, uh, Can I have uh, a coffee? Okay, all right. We, Great. We, we drink a lot of coffee. Okay. And also, est-ce que je peux avoir un bon verre de vin? Okay. A good uh, wa- uh, red wine glass. Okay. Uh, that's very important all right. in France as well, with, okay. with cheese. Mm-hmm. Um, qu'est-ce qu'on fait ce soir? Okay. What are we doing tonight? Okay. Um, I, think, I think we're going to need a crash course. <laughs> I think at, it at some point be to learn. Yeah. I, and uh, the accent is so like do do people do you know when it's a foreigner when it's like excuse me you know that's not a french person because they don't have the accent. Do you know yeah, that? Yeah. Can you tell? Yeah. Oh, that's uh, that's sad. Just right now you said excuse me perfectly. I did. You could have been a french person. Oh my god, thank you so much. I think I need to clap for myself. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I need an award. You guys should print me an award. <laughs> um, let's talk about collaboration. Um, recently, I, I, I read of a deal between Iroko TV and uh, Canal Plus. Are, are they doing other things like that? Would other things like that um, be coming up with this your visit? Are you trying to kind of merge the two cultures, especially when it comes to entertainment? Because we're very big on entertainment here in Nigeria. Mm-hmm, sure. We, we are really hoping to strengthen uh, the links between France and Nigeria in uh, entertainment, culture, and cinema. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think France has a lot to learn from Nigeria regarding cinema. Cinema. I think we talk about Nollywood, right? Yeah. yeah. And uh, and we are really working on that. The embassy organized last uh, June a festival, a Franco-Nigerian festival mm-hmm. for uh, for uh, cinema. So nice. It's very important. We are working with uh, French companies uh, uh, like uh, Vivendi, Canal Plus, mm-hmm. who are working with. Uh, Nigerian companies to strengthen this, this link and uh, that was the goal also from for the the visit of President Macron uh, to yeah to, to merge more and I think the like the Nigerian Institute for Cinema will very soon sign um, an agreement with the French Institute for Cinema in order to uh, develop more this cooperation so that's uh, that's one I that's think good. it's very interesting that you say that France can learn from Nollywood because I, I feel like French cinema is a thing. Like, you know, when you watch French films, you're like fancy. You're like, ha ha ha, I watched that film. And they're like, oh, okay, you're fancy. <laughs> so, I mean, it, what do you mean by that? I in, mean that? In terms of that, yeah. A country that has that many films produced every every year, mm-hmm. that's um, many young and dynamic uh, artists and uh, yeah, directors. And I will meet some of them, I think, uh, during the, the day. Okay. It has something to uh, show to the world, and we have to come and see what what is produced mm. and how it's done. For real, I mean, the Cannes Film Festival is huge. It's big. Yeah. You know, I mean, it serves as a, as a platform for the entire Europe. Mm-hmm. You know, it's big. So yeah, so uh, you got a point right there. I want to ask you something about the youth. 
Um, in Nigeria, I mean, Lagos, 20 million people. That's a lot of people. Uh, a lot of young people need encouragement. They need, they need direction, mentorship, and all of that. You know, while you are here, I mean, will you be involved in programs to help, to aid them, to get better jobs, and better opportunities, and to own their own space mm -hmm. while you're here? Yeah, I think uh, mentorship is very important. Uh, you said the world. In, f in, in France, it is important as well, and I'm trying to develop uh, it. I think youth uh, have... Are, uh, the youth everywhere in the world is facing some um, uh, challenges which can be uh, compared. Uh, when you're young today and you're growing, you hear very sad news on the news. You hear that the climate is changing mm -hmm. and the planet is... Uh, yeah, falling. You hear that there are um, security issues. You hear that the labor market is very difficult. So we need to uh, um, have a positive speech for the youth because youth ha is very dynamic. It has so many things to uh, to, to 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 yeah to to, to bring to uh, to the world. And I'm very. It's very important for me to address this uh, this me this message. You you hear a lot that youth is the future. Mm -hmm. When I was appointed minister, the, everyone said, "Oh, it's very nice, a young minister. It's important because you are the future." And it's very positive to say that. But when you say that, you bring the idea that maybe youth has to wait a bit mm -hmm. to have real responsibilities. Mm -hmm. So I'm working a lot to say that youth is the present, and youth today it has something to 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 bring. Uh, in businesses, in companies, in NGOs, in politics. I heard that uh, the Nigerian constitution was yeah. They uh, changed it. it yeah, allowing changed. the yeah, the younger yeah. The, the young to run. So now you yeah. you, you, mm -hmm. you can you can run younger than you could yeah. before. So it's very positive, and uh, I think. Uh, mm. I, I think I mean your personality is really inspiring to um, a lot of people, even to me. Like I feel like. All is not lost. When I turned 13 April, I was like sad. Like I, I was like, oh, it's over, it's <laughs> over. But I mean, seeing you, you've really inspired me to believe that, you know, you can make a change, especially at this at this point. What would you say to a, a young Nigerians listening? Because this show is like, has mm -hmm. lots of young people listening. How, and <laughs> Nigeria is tough. I mean, it is tough. Um, living day to day it's tough it seems mm -hmm. like a lot of things are stacked against you as a young person what would you say to the young people listening now to like persevere and tell them you know they can actually make it i would say that uh, the future can be bright if young people commit and if young people um, uh, yeah work hard to build their own lives and to build to to to, to commit building the world a better place mm -hmm. and it's, it is difficult. It is difficult for every young people and, is, and it is more difficult for some young people than others. That's true because it depends on when you are, where you are born, yeah. uh, in which family you were born. And some have to work harder than the others. But I think, and that's because I'm very optimistic and mm -hmm. positive, I think that for those who work hard and for those who uh, believe that they can change things and that they can evolve, it always uh, comes positively, and they always manage to, yeah, to to evolve and to to build their own lives. So uh, nice, positive energy. Keep up. Okay, <laughs> before you go, um, apart from youth and education, um, what is the relationship between France and Nigeria? What else is in the works in terms of collaboration between both countries? Well, we have a uh, collaboration regarding security and fighting terrorism. Uh, Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it to that. That's good <laughs> news. That is so much good news. No, it's, um, it's important. It is so important. Yes, yeah. it is. Uh, um, it's important. And we have also uh, business relations. Uh, I think uh, Nigeria is the, f the first uh, sub-Saharan country uh, regarding um, trade relations with France. Uh, and the f first country for uh, French investments. I think it's 10 billion euros uh, mm -hmm. invested. Wow. Many, many companies. And, uh, well, I hope with my visit, we have more uh, links between youth, French mm -hmm. youth and Nigerian youth. Nice. Yes, so we, nice we would one. love that. We would nice love one. that. Can I give you a Nigerian name? What would it be, uh, Timmy B? Uh, <laughs> I have no uh, idea. I'm, I'm trying to imagine <laughs> to myself. Uh, let me see, like, Bola, maybe... Um, like what? Uh, think about it. Think about it. What, what should we do? What should we, we, we? We must give you a Nigerian name. Yeah, I, I, we I must. Want, I want one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You want one? I let you yeah. think, and I and, and I'll do a photograph for my Instagram. Okay. Oh, there you go. Because the studio is so so cool. I want to. So, your name is Gabriel. So let's coin something from that. Yes, uh, <laughs> 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 um, let let's let's do it the way 
that I know how to do it. And before anyone hates on me, I'm Yoruba. Like, so that's what I know. Um, and in our culture, we get languages based on um, kind of like the things you want or the things you brought into your parents' life. Mm -hmm. So my name is Timmy Lola, which means wealth is mine. Because when I was born, my parents just started getting lots of money. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah you can cool. clap for me. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so um, how, what, what would you say describes you? Oh, it's, it's so difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Try and put it in like one sentence. Oh. <laughs> and then I'll give you a name. Well, um, I'm the only boy in my okay family, okay my okay sisters. that's good that's, that's good that's yeah. a good one okay that's good next um my father died quite early so okay I was the like say no more say no more of the, say no of more. the okay. family baba tunde that's your baba by the way <laughs> <laughs> okay that's your name baba tunde so your name is tunde, tunde which means like um your father has come back in you oh, sort of yeah I, I i really love that idea. yeah you're welcome yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well so, uh, you can be tunde for short so you just say hey i'm t-boy what's up Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, so that's a good name. Yeah, for, oh, well, where I'm from is far. It's quite far away from where she's from anyway. But I think what you would be called where I'm from is um, Etukudo. Etukudo. Yeah, it's kind of, oh, oh, he got it. Etukudo. Etukudo. You got it, man. <laughs> You're more Nigerian than me, man. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before you go, uh, you mentioned Nigerian music. Um, and, and you also mentioned Fela. Uh, you also mentioned another guy. Who did David you O. So David o. We, we will you know. play you, David O. Oh. Um, this one is a new song. It's really okay. cool. I love it. It's called One Millie. David o loves money and so do I. <laughs> so it's like, it means one million, like one million dollars. So we're going to play you this song. Um, thanks so much for coming on this show. This was so much fun. And uh, we hope you have a fantastic time. Thank you. Thank in you Lagos. for the invitation. I was um, very happy. Where should you go? Oh, there's so many places. I'll tell you uh. off air because you, you don't want people to know you're going to be there and then they just come and be like, <laughs> For real. Hey. Um, well, like, well, I'm sure the shrine is one of them. I'm sorry. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> the African shrine. He's uh. not going to the shrine, guys. <laughs> 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 so here's One Million by David. Thanks so much for coming on the show. I hope you enjoy the song.